السلام عليكم تيروس 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 كو ذا بليز كو ذا بليز ريلاكس 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 نو وان از تيروس وين يو هير ا مسلم ساين السلام عليكم داس مين ذي ار براين فور يو براين فور يو تو جيت بيس وين يو هير ذا ورد سلام عليكم فروم ا مسلم ات مين بيس ميرسي اند بليسنج اوف جود بي تو يو بيس ميرسي اند بليسنج اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى بي تو يو ذي اكشلي براين فور يو تو جيت بيس وي توكين اباوت تيروس تيروس نا السلام عليكم ات مين بيس ميرسي اند بليسنج اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى بي تو يو So like someone is praying for you. What are you talking about terrorists? Come on man, grow up man. It's 2024, 21 century. We have internet, we have everything, man. Just go educate yourself. Secondly, a lot of non-Muslim, they want to come to Islam, but they are a little bit scared. It's scared because they have a less knowledge. They think like, "Oh, if I become Muslim, that's mean I'm a terrorist. Or if I become Muslim, that's mean I don't have to wear like this. I have to wear like jilbab." No, 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 no. You don't have to wear jilbab. You can wear these. You can be a gangster, no problem. Gangster in Islam. Yeah, wagwan man. Allahu akbar. Akbar. Again, Allahu Akbar does not mean I'm gonna <coughs> take your head. No, Allahu Akbar it means Allah is the bigger, God is the bigger, and of course God is the bigger. If He created the whole universe, the seven earth, the seven heaven, of course He's the bigger, and that's why we say God is the bigger, big of everything. Again, when you hear the word Allahu Akbar, ah, oh, could the police? Ah, oh, he's about to. No, nah, no one is gonna slow you, Akhi. No one. We love you. We actually love you, and that's what Allah said. كنتم خير أمة أخرجت للناس تأمرون بالمعروف وتنهون عن المنكر. As a Muslim, Allah has brought us as a the best of the best of His nation. Allah brought us to who? To mankind, to develop, to encourage and discourage from good and bad. So how? What do you mean, like terrorists? I'm not a terrorist. I'm a Muslim. I'm not a terrorist. And again, a lot of you, you guys, are trying to become a Muslim, but you're also afraid about oh. If I become a Muslim, I'm gonna be poor. Who said all Muslim are poor? You know the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His companions was the richest person at his time, Abu Bakr. He was the richest person at his time. Do you know the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him? She was the richest woman on that time. I'm a Muslim. I'm not terrorist. I'm not poor. Alhamdulillah. I'm a rich. I'm a rich of Islam. Anyway, let's get to the prayer. I'm gonna show you how Muslim pray because I know there's a lot of converters, reverters. They revert to Islam or they convert to Islam. They don't know how to pray. And I had this question before from a non-Muslim, and she was asking Ali, could you make a video about how to pray or how Muslim pray? So I, I want to practice before I accept Islam. And I said no problem. And this is why I'm making this video. But this video is part two. The part one, I'm gonna put it at the description or maybe at the end of the video. You can go and watch it as well. Part one. But this is part two. Let's get to the pray. So yeah, if you never witnesses how Muslim pray, inshallah today you will see. And also when you hear the word inshallah, inshallah it just mean in the will of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Also, it's not something about you. It's just in the will of Allah. So I'm going to show you how Muslim pray in 2024, and this is the correct pray. If you want to practice as a new converter or new converter, and also some Muslim they don't know how to pray, you could learn as well. Firstly, you do the obligation, which is I'm going to do a separate video for that. Allahu Akbar. And when you say in Allahu Akbar, your hands have to be open like this and bring them closer toward your ears, but you don't have to touch the ears. Just here, open like this, and you say Allahu Akbar slowly like that. Because I know a lot of Muslim they just Allahu Akbar. Nah, relax, relax. You here in front. Of Allah, when you come to pray, that's mean you in front of Allah. So at least be respectful. You in front of the Creator of the whole universe, and you just trying to like chop it like like you in nightclub. You know, in nightclub, even in nightclub, when you come to dance, you will dance like this. No, you would dance slowly, like yeah, yeah relax. Alhamdulillah, I don't go to nightclub. You do it slowly. Allahu Akbar again. Remember your hands toward your ears like this. From here, look ears, but you don't have to touch the ears. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. It means Allah is the biggest. Allah is the greatest. When you when you do Allahu Akbar, you release your hand to the end. You bring it again here, just above your pecs, just on top of your pecs, like this. You hold your right hand, holding your left hand like this. And then now here, if you are new reverter or new converter, and you don't know how to recite Quran or reading Quran either, you could just say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. And then you say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin because you can't read Surah Al-Fatihah, you can't read the first chapter of Quran. So just try to learn Alhamdulillah, just Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, I mean all praise due to Allah. All praise is due to the Creator of the whole universe. That's it. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. 
all praise due to Allah. There's another meaning for that, for Alhamdulillah. It also means thanks, thanks to Allah. That's another meaning for Alhamdulillah. So here, Alhamdulillah, you can say it five times because you can't recite. You just convert or you just reveal. Just say Alhamdulillah, 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 five times. If you want to do it ten times, no problem. Even if you've done it once, your prayer is still correct. You could just say Alhamdulillah and say Allahu Akbar. So here, I'm going to try and go a little bit back. So when you say Allahu Akbar, here, in here, I've seen a lot of Muslim when they do ruku. This one is called ruku. So I've seen a lot of Muslim, they do ruku like this. Some of them, they do ruku like this. Like this. Like, bro, <laughs> we're not dancing, man. We are praying, okay? Come on, man. We are praying, sister. So we try and do ruku proper, how the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to do his ruku. He used to do Allahu Akbar. So from here, your hands from here, above your chest, from here, you're taking it down to your knees. You grab your knees, both of your knees, and you say, Allahu Akbar. You say Allahu Akbar again when you come here. Allahu Akbar. My hand is straight. My back is straight, and my leg is straight too. When you come here, you say, Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Again, for new reverter or new converter, if you can't remember Subhana Rabbi al Azim, just repeat Allahu Akbar when you go down there. Here, Subhana Rabbi Al Azim, Subhana Rabbi Al Azim, Subhana Rabbi Al Azim, three time, three time. Then you come up again. When you come up, you don't have to like go and grab your hand again. No, you could just come up like this, release your hand, relax. If you want to grab, no problem. Buff is correct. Sami Allahu liman hamida. You come up, you say Sami Allahu liman hamida. If you're leading people and there's people behind you, you just say Sami Allahu liman hamida. And the people behind you, they will say, Rabbana wa lakal hamdu. But again, if you're a new reverter or new converter, of course you don't know that, so you don't have to say it. Just when you come up, say Allahu Akbar. Then from here, you go down to prostrate. This is when you come to the prostrating part. The prostrating position here, look, your hands are open like this. And look at my feet. Look at my feet. This is how you put your forehead. And when you put your forehead, I've seen a Muslim doing this. Nah. That's wrong, Aki. You don't have to put. No, it's just here. You put your hands like this. And then look. This is the position where it goes down on the ground. This is the position. And the second position is your nose. So basically like you're doing this. But not this. Nah, Aki, come on. That's, that's incorrect. So you have to put this and this, both of them, uh, on the ground. <coughs> That's, that's the correct uh, prostrating. And your hands, of course, like this. When let's, let's, we did the first prostrating, we come up here, we sit down. This leg, we sit on the left leg, and the right leg is just like... But I've seen some Muslims, they do this. This is wrong. This is how the Prophet, peace be upon him, he used to sit. He sit on the left hand, on the left leg, and the right one is just as in uh, there. I'm going to show you how I put my my left and right so this is the right this is how you put the right if you don't know how to do it you can get used to it so when you're in this position you did the first sujood prostrating the first sujood allahu akbar in here you say subhana rabbi ala bihamdi subhana rabbi ala bihamdi subhana rabbi ala bihamdi three times you say it three times. Of course, if you knew you were a new converter, you won't remember Subhana Rabbi Al-Ala Hamdi. Say Allahu Akbar again in that position when um, as you prostrating. But if you're Muslim, you could you say Subhana Rabbi Al-Ala Hamdi three times. Okay? You come here when you come here. In this position, you can ask forgiveness for your parents. Allahumma aghfir li wa li walidayya wa rahamahuma kama rabbani saghira. You do it three times in this position between the two uh, sujood, between the two prostrating. It's like you're asking, oh Allah, please forgive my parents. They raised me, they looked after me. Mom, my mom, she been carrying me in her womb for nine or ten months. Please Allah, forgive her, forgive her sins, accept her and grant her heaven. So you're asking forgiveness for your parents. And that's, that's how I love Islam because all the time Islam is encouraging me to ask forgiveness for my parents, to respect my parents to help them, to provide them. You ask forgiveness for your parents, you go back again. We have two sajdatain in every single rak'ah. So you go back again, you say, Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala Bihamdi, Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala Bihamdi, Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala Bihamdi. And then from here, you go up. You go up to the second rak'ah. But again, 
if you are new reverter or new converter or you're just learning about Islam, you don't have to say Subhan Rabbi al ala bihamdi because unless you know it, unless you are a hard practicer and you learn quick, if you don't learn quick, it's fine, no problem. Just say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah. That should be enough and your prayer is correct. But also try to push yourself to learn because pray, salah, to establish your pray, that's the five, one of the five principles of Islam. If you fail on your pray, failing to establish prayer or to pray correctly or to perform it at the day of judgment, the rest of your deed will not be accepted. If you pay charities, if you went to Allah house, if you help people, whatever, whatever good deed you did. If you fell on your prey at the day of judgment, the rest of your deed is felt. And if you succeed in your prayer in salah, the, you succeed in the rest of your deed. Even if you did uh, zina, you know, adultery, by smoking, drinking, whatever. If you fully succeed in your prayer, 99.9% .9 that Allah might forgive you for all the sins that you've done before because you have succeeded in your salah. But if you fell in your salah, brother, paying charities, whatever, helping people, you fell. It won't be accepted from you. Allah will reject all the money that you paid for charities, all the money, Allah will reject it. And that's why salah, pray, is the main important things in Islam and one of the five principles of Islam. To be a Muslim is the pray. If you don't pray, you and the disbeliever are the same. Even if you're calling yourself Muslim. That's why I focus on Salah a lot. And also don't forget to watch the previous, I mean part one of Salah. The part one of how to pray as well on my YouTube channel. Okay, when you come up, you come up from, from, the, from, the, from, the, from, the, from your second prostrating like this. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Come up here. Again, if you are Muslim... You know how to practice? Of course, you grab your hands, the right hands on the left hand side. You read Surah Al-Fatiha. Surah Al-Fatiha, which is the first chapter on Quran. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'abud Iyaka Nasta'ayin Ahtina Salat Al-Mustaqim Salat Al-Ladheena Namta Alayhim Ghayri Al-Maghdoob Alayhim Wal Al-Dallin I'm gonna say it in English again. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. All praises due to Allah, Lord of the world, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful, the sovereign of the day of recompense. It's you we worship and you we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those who you have best with favors, not of those who have earned your anger or those who are astray. But if you are new reverter or new converter, you could just say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praise due to Allah, Lord of the world. That's it, because you are not in that level yet, you're learning. And your pray is still acceptable. But if you revert to Islam or you convert to Islam and you don't pray, sorry, you're still not Muslim. And if you die, you still may be going to go to hellfire. And that's why I pray is a man important things in Islam. The main important things in Islam. Okay, again, you come up again in the second rak'ah. Let's say we pray in Fajr. Fajr is two rak'ah. Two rak'ah. So you pray uh, two times like, like how I showed you. Okay. So you come on the second one. You do the same thing. You grab your hands right on the left. You recite Surah Al-Fatah. The one that I just told you. If you don't know, as I said, you can just say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's it. And you do again. Ruku. Subhan Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhan Rabbi Al-Azim. If you don't know, just say Allahu Akbar. I mean, as a new reverter, come up again. Sama Allahu liman hamida. If you don't know Sama Allahu liman hamida, just say Allahu Akbar. Then go back again, down to prostrate. Again, same thing, prostrating. Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala Bihamdi. Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala Bihamdi. Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala Bihamdi. Come here. See. Allahumma aghfir li wa li wa alidhi wa rahma wa kuma rabbani saghira. Oh Allah, forgive my parents. Because they raised me when I was young, they looked after me, whatever, as I said earlier. Come again, the second prostrating. Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala Bihamdi, Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala Bihamdi, Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala Bihamdi. Then come up again. If we pray in Fajr, now we did two rak'atin. Rak it's like basically we did it twice, two times. Fajr, the first prayer of the day, and we do it twice. You come here. Now we say at tahiyatu lillahi at tahiyatu lillahi at zakiyatu lillahi at tayyibatu salawatu lillahi assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh assalamu alayna wa ala ibadullahi salihin ashhadu anna la ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadar rasulullah Allahumma salli ala sayidina Muhammad wa ala ali sayidina Muhammad kama sallaita ala sayidina Ibrahim wa ala ali sayidina Ibrahim Allahumma barik ala sayidina Muhammad wa ala ali sayidina Muhammad kama barakta ala sayidina Ibrahim wa ala ali sayidina Ibrahim fil alamin innaka hamidum mujib If you don't know how to say this 
Because I'm not going to lie to you, as a new converter or reverter, this is a lot. Even Muslims, some Muslims, they don't know how to say it correctly. So if you're not really in that level yet, you could just sit down here, say, um, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, ask forgiveness for yourself and for your parents, and say, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah. First one on your right hand side, Assalamu Alaikum. Second one on your left hand side, Assalamu Alaikum. But you really have to learn Assalamu Alaikum. You really have to learn it. Otherwise, your prayer is not correct. So you have to learn how to say Assalamu Alaikum. And Assalamu Alaikum again, it means peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah be to you. You're literally saying it to the person next to you. When you say Assalamu Alaikum in the mosque, this person should be praying next to you. And you saying, you're telling him, peace, mercy be to you. You, you. You're telling the left one, peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah be to you. You see how beautiful, it was, how beautiful Islam? How beautiful is our religion? It's like, I don't even know you, bro. I don't even know them. I don't know them. But I, I still have to say, peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah be to you, brother. Peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah be to you. Do you understand? That's how beautiful Islam. But as a Muslim, there's 99 maybe or 80% of Muslims, they don't really practice Islam. And that's why you don't see the beautiful image of Islam on us because we don't practice Islam. We practice culture, culture, our culture, but we don't practice Islam. If we practice Islam, <laughs> you will see the best, best version of Islam. But as I said again, Islam is different and Muslims are different. You can see Muslim who doesn't pray, that doesn't even know Islam. But he's still calling himself Muslim. Of course, he's lying to himself. But Islam is the education of Islam itself. That's the real Islam. And that's why if you want to learn Islam, go educate yourself about Islam. Learn Islam. Don't just follow people. Do you understand? And that's how I learn Islam. I learn Islam by reading books. Okay? So you say, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Now you finish. You prayed two times. So you just did the same thing in the both two times. You prostrate. You did the same thing. You come up the same thing. If I speak quickly and you didn't get what I said, you can repeat the video again, replay it again until you get it. But that's how we pray. We pray Fajr time, two raga, two time. Zuhur, which is the pray at the middle of the day, we pray it full time. It's just full time like the, it's like four raga. Allahu Akbar, coming up, that's one. It's like you pray four raga, four raga. I'm talking to because I know I had a lot of non muslim on my YouTube channel and I know there's a lot of new reverters and converters on my YouTube channel. That's why I'm trying to educate you slowly, slowly, guys. And of course, I will continue on those type of videos until you guys, if there's one person benefit, thanks God, alhamdulillah. So Fajr is the first uh, prayer of the Muslim. We pray it at five o'clock or six o'clock, depend to your area. But five or six o'clock in the morning, depend to your area, depend to the time on your area. Second pray, we pray it around one o'clock, midday, depend to your area again. The third pray, we pray it around three o'clock or half two, again, depend to your zone area. The fourth pray is makrib, we pray it three time, three time, three raga, like the one I just literally showed you. But again, depend on your Zoom time. Could be six o'clock, seven o'clock. Aisha is the last prayer of the day, and that's the fifth. We pray it full time. But again, depend on your Zoom area. I don't know, could be nine o'clock or ten o'clock. Depend on your Zoom area. Check your Zoom area, check the time. And then if it says the time to pray, jump on your prayer. Go do your obligation. Wudu. I'm gonna also make a video about, about wudu, the correct wudu, inshallah. So yeah, guys, if I made any mistakes, no problem, guys. No one is perfect. I'm not perfect. You can correct me. Alhamdulillah, if it's okay, as it says on the book, Alhamdulillah, that's from Allah. Allah bless me with that, Alhamdulillah. And if there's any something missing you want to know or you want to learn, comment down. Let me know what you want to learn. And inshallah, I will read every single comment. Even if it's going to be million comments, I will read all of them, inshallah. And I will respond to the comment with a video again. Or maybe if you want to get in touch with me directly and ask me, or maybe even call me a video to show you how to pray, no problem. I have time for you. All my platform, all my social media, the same thing. Ali Joki underscore. I used to do joke before, but now I don't do joke anymore. Alhamdulillah. 
so follow me on youtube follow me on uh, subscribe on youtube follow me on facebook follow me on instagram if you want to get in touch with me it's snapchat um tiktok as well it's all the same ali joke it's the same name thank you so much guys for watching the video again i'm gonna say this salah which is pray in islam is very important if you fail on salah you are going to hellfire and this is why salah is very important i remember i say this i remember when i used to go to haram places with my friends alhamdulillah i've, I've been guided right now alhamdulillah Allah, uh, guided me so but before when i used to go to haram places i used to tell my friends look i'm not gonna go until i pray isha because now is a isha, isha time my friend they used to respond back to me saying you we going to haram place we are going to haram place and you want to pray what are you talking about bro you're going to haram place why are you praying and i look this is what i used to tell them i used to say look pray is something that allah ordered me to do haram is something that i've done it but i could i could go and ask forgiveness haram is something else pray is something else so if you're doing haram don't think like oh i'm doing haram so i'm not gonna pray then you're going to hellfire how Allah meant to forgive you? You don't pray, but pray. Maybe because you pray and you establish your prayer very well, Allah will forgive you on the other haram section. And that's why I used to pray before I go. And Alhamdulillah, because I used to pray, Allah guided me. But the other brothers, they still are not alive. And may Allah guide them. And may Allah guide all of us. Assalamu alaikum again. I'm not a terrorist. Peace, mercy, and blessing be to every single one of you, brothers and sisters, wherever you are. Peace.